the shit on the shelf. Cause the way the real weather is being real with self. Right now, I haven't seen the glory of the coming of the left. I can't do it by myself, so I'm asking for help. It's time to go to the left. Put the shit on the shelf. Cause the way the real weather is being real with self. Right now, I haven't seen the glory of the coming of the left. I can't do it by myself, so I'm asking for Good morning, good morning, good morning, guys, and welcome to Talking Money in the Morning Live with your main man, H. Cortez, the one and only financial health mentor to the black community, where I do my best to bring practical yet proven wealth building strategies to working men and women all over this great nation of ours. It is truly an honor, privilege, and a blessing to come to you live and direct from the Mikey Learns About Business Studios here in St. Louis, Missouri. Guys, today is the day the book is officially launched. Today, so what we're trying to do is get 1,000 people this weekend to go buy either the paperback or the Kindle version of this book from Amazon. I know some of you guys have pre-ordered it directly from Mikey uh, and his mom, Ariel, but we want this, we, we're trying to make him an Amazon bestseller. So we want you to go to Amazon. The Kindle book is $6.99 and the uh, paperback is $12.99. So go over to Amazon this weekend and grab the book, preferably tomorrow. Tomorrow he's doing his book signing in Atlanta. In fact, he's got two book signings in Atlanta. I'm super excited, proud of the kid. I've been working with him for a little over a year, man, and he's just ambitious, man. He's, 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 he's trying to get it uh, and setting an example for other kids. So, uh, you know, I, I, I want to pump them up as much as I can, and hopefully other kids will see that they too can do and have and be whatever it is that they will um, because of his example. So do me a huge favor, guys. If you are checking us out on Periscope, then I don't know what you do. You swipe left or you swipe up uh, to, share the uh, to share the stream uh, out to your uh, Twitter followers, hit the little man in the corner, uh, and that gives you notifications every time we go live with the show every morning, 7 a.m., Monday through Friday. Same thing with you guys on YouTube. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. I have a goal to get my YouTube subscribership up to 1,000 by end of this month. So hit the subscribe button if you are not already subscribed to the channel. That way you two get notifications when I go live and do other things uh, there as well. And you guys on Facebook already know you guys have already been sharing it. So I thank you guys for sharing it uh, and, and continue to share it throughout the show. Uh, but also this, go ahead and invite some people who you know are business owners because they get a business shout out when they ask their questions as we do free game Friday live q and a. So um, if you don't already follow the show, make sure you follow the show, then share it and then invite a couple people specifically to come check us out today. Uh, now, for those of you who may be new and never seen the show before, I'd like to let you know exactly who the show is for. The show is for risers and grinders only. If you're ready to get up, get out and get something this morning, then this is your show. If you are the type of person who wants to build a legacy for your family, this is your show. If you're like me, every night before I lay down, I think to myself, what am I going to do tomorrow, uh, 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 next week, next month, next year, the next five years, the next 10 years to make sure that my children's children are going to be proud to bear my name? If that is you, then this, my friend, is your show. On the other hand, who is this show not for? If you have that problem with money, you have a weird relationship and you think money is evil, Capitalism is a dirty word. You think all wealthy people are snobs and get off my stream <laughs> because everybody on this stream is wealthy. And we talk about getting wealthy versus getting rich on this stream. Why? Because there is a major, major difference. Wealth is about an abundance of resources 
Riches tend to, send, tend to only be about an abundance of money, but there are more resources than just money that you could use to live a happy, more productive, more peaceful life. So if you got that weird relationship with money, uh, you don't like wealthy people, then you can exit stage left and we won't miss you. But like I tell you each and every morning, I have no problem with you not wanting to be wealthy. Maybe you've already hit your goals. Maybe you are already at the pinnacle of your success and you're comfortable there. I have no problem with you not wanting to be wealthy. I have a problem with you when you have a problem with me wanting to be wealthy. What is it that when somebody aspires to greatness, other people who are content where they are start pointing the finger and judging, right? That's when I have a problem. Now, you've never seen a future billionaire at work before, then I want you to take a screenshot, cheese, and watch me work, watch me, watch me get down. But I would invite you to, instead of watch me work, join the party with me and let's race to a billion together, guys. Because what if we fall short of our goal and we only get halfway there? Can anybody on the stream figure out how to live off 500 million? What if we fall short of our goal and we only get 10% of the way there? Can anybody on the stream figure out how to live on 100 million? What if we only get 1% the way to our goal? Can you figure out how to live on 10 million? I'm just saying, guys, aim high. That way, if you fall short, you're still way, 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 way above average. So today's show is also brought to you by Project 1000. Guys, I am so, so serious. Last month, we've added uh, 30 people to Project 1000. This month, we've already added seven. So if you are want to build wealth and you want to build wealth the way that we do, we teach you how to build wealth from scratch, how to minimize your taxes. It's hard to build wealth when you are uh, overtaxed how to eliminate your debt. You can't build wealth when you're drowning in debt and overtaxed. Then we teach you how investments work so you can so put in your money to work for you. And then we teach you how to fix your own credit. Four pillars to building wealth. The fifth would be having a business system. See, all wealthy people have five things in common. They have passive income they have residual income they have multiple streams of income they own business systems and they have mentors project 1000 will give you all five of those things right come on let's who's willing to admit that they could use some mentorship in the area of their finances who's willing to admit that they can use some mentorship in the development and growth of their existing business that's what we want to do for you in Project 1000. Now, today we're on to free game Friday. So uh, again, if you want information on Project 1000, inbox me. For those of you guys on Periscope, shoot me a text with the uh, keyword Project 1000 to 314-874-6887. If you're on Facebook, you can just inbox me. If you're watching on YouTube, same thing. Uh, text me 314-874-6887. Use keyword Project 1000. I'll be glad to get you some additional information and just see if it's a good fit for you maybe uh paying high taxes and drowning in debt maybe you know another way to build wealth while you're fighting those things i i haven't found one so we teach you how to attack those things first and then you can build wealth uh systematically and down the road so what is Free Game Fridays all about? Free Game Fridays is where we're going to recap this week's shows, and then the show is all about you. I want you to give me the name of your business. We'll give you a business shout out. I don't know if you guys know that the show is syndicated uh, through our various channels, my blog, uh, my fan page, uh, my, my uh, iTunes account on podcast, uh, blog talk, and Stitcher. So uh, a business shout out could get you some additional business. That's why I do it. So I want you to drop the link or on the name of your business, ask your question, and then if I can help you solve a riddle, I will definitely do that. All right, so uh, Monday's show was a no-go, right? Uh, I had a, a, a eight-hour drive in back in from Minneapolis, and that wiped me out, guys. So we didn't do a show on Monday, right? But Tuesday's show, we talked all about capitalism, right? What is capitalism? Capitalism is an economic and political system in which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit. Now, I want to read this a little differently so that you understand, so we can stop trying to separate uh, economics and politics. 
We are always trying to separate money and politics. I'm gonna read it a little different. What is capitalism? Capitalism is a political system in which a country, country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit. See, when you when you when when you watch this, watch, listen, listen. When, when you when you read it a little bit differently, see, when we when we say capitalism is an economic and political system, you focus on the word economic because you think about capitalism and money, and that's what propaganda does. It teaches you, it, it controls thought, it controls the way you think, it, it, it defines things. See, the true definition of power is when someone or something can define something and make everyone accept that definition. That's the true definition of power. When I can tell you what and who you are, I can define you and make you accept my definition of who you are. That's the definition of power. Right. So the powers that be have made you uh, confuse capitalism with money. But capitalism is not just money. It is an economic and political system. In which a country's trade and industry are controlled by private owners for profit. So what is capitalism? It is a political system controlled by private owners for profit. See, when you start reading things differently, you, you start to, to break down what the real meaning of things are. If I said it that way and everybody knew that is the definition, then we stop trying to separate money and politics. Capitalism is a political system controlled by private owners for profit. Does that make more sense? Does that give you a, a better picture of capitalism? Does that help you understand how, why you can't separate uh, 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 money and politics? Right. So we talked about three things that you need to know about capitalism. Number one, capitalism is just a tool, guys. It's a tool and that's it. Right. And I liken any tool to a two edged sword. Right. Cuts both ways. But also the reason I liken this, a, a tool to a sword is because a, a sword can be used both offensively and defensively. A sword is used both offensively and defensively, right? Capitalism as a tool uh, can be used to both build and defend wealth, but it can also be used as a tool to get people to squander their wealth. And that's what's going on in America right now. Most working class people are squandering their wealth because of capitalism and they're blaming it on capitalism. Don't blame it on capitalism. When, when I take a hammer and hit you over your head with it, you don't blame the hammer, do you? No, you blame the tool. When I take that same hammer and build you a capsule, you don't blame the hammer, do you? No, you blame the person using the tool. So you don't blame capitalism for your uh, 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 lack of wealth. You blame the person using the tool. It's only a tool. It can be used offensively and defensively. It's, it, it's determined how the tool is used is determined by the person who's using it. But here's what we're not doing. We have learned to become professional consumers. That's why we can consume like nobody's business. You have to learn how to become professional wealth builders, professional uh, 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 um, capitalists, so to speak, so that you can take and make money in the way that everybody else does. Another simple uh, definition of capitalism that I like to use is capitalism is a system by which those who know capitalize on those who don't know. And again, many people will assume that that is a bad thing. But my dry cleaners know something about removing stains that I don't know. So is that a good thing or a bad thing? Because they have gone through whatever lengths they've gone through to know and to find that information out, should they not be allowed to capitalize on that? Sure they should. Problem is, we as employees, we as consumers, don't think about all the things that we know and the various ways that we can capitalize on them, 
right? Get ready, shameless plug. That's why I wrote the book, Monetize My Life. So I can help people identify all of the different things that they know and how other people are monetizing those very same things and how you too can monetize those as well. So if you want a copy of the book, Monetize My Life, go to monetizemylifeacademy.com. It will open your eyes to a variety of ways that you can leverage what you know and turn those passions into income streams. So you have to become a professional on the other side of capitalism. Number two, capitalism has its own language. And if you're in America or anywhere that capitalist, capitalism exists as a system, and you do not know the language of capitalism, you will not survive. You will be a consumer all of your life. You have to know the language of capitalism if you're trying to use capitalism to your advantage, right? We're talking about being producers versus consumers, owning uh, assets versus liabilities, investing versus spending, right? Profits versus wages growth and expansion versus contraction, leveraging versus being leveraged, passive income versus just being plain old passive, using other people's money, i.e. credit to build wealth versus using other people's money, i.e. credit to buy junk, right? And the last thing you need to know about capitalism is it's here to stay, y'all. So you better learn as much as you can about it. Right. Uh, the last two days, uh, Wednesday and Thursday, we talked about the difference between affiliate marketing and network marketing uh, and traditional businesses. Right. So we want to make sure that you guys know the difference in how to blend and merge all three. And in fact, when you give me your business shout out, tell me a little bit about your business and we'll talk a little bit about how you can incorporate some additional affiliate options or network marketing options in your traditional business of your traditional business owner right so i'm gonna give you my time to start typing in your questions but we'll go over some of the things as you're typing in your questions give me your the, the name of your business um and ask your question we give your business shout out and we talk about how you can incorporate some affiliate marketing and network marketing stuff in your existing business uh and even if you are in one network marketing company how you can synergistically align with other network marketing companies or affiliate companies to add streams of income without doing that much more work right so what i mean by that is i don't want you to um go and join 30 affiliate programs or 40 network marketing marketing companies and try to make all of those work but you can synergistically align some uh, with what you're currently doing right so I'll give you an example my company uh, with project 1000 we talk about building wealth so it made sense for us to align with uh, and add a credit education service to our existing uh, business model so now you can be an affiliate of a credit restoration service uh, point uh, uh, and that 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 synergistically aligned with building wealth. I don't have to go out and build a separate business for credit restoration. I just fold that into my existing portfolio. Health and fitness coach Tawana, what is the name of your your business or your brand? So right now, Tawana, if you are not already offering books, your favorite book on uh, how to eat healthy how to be fit, uh, you know, uh, like a uh, uh, health fit glam. Okay, health fit glam is the name of the business. So if you're not already uh, doing videos um, so, that, so that people know what, that you know what you're talking about, creating courses, uh, you, you don't wanna limit yourself to only being able to work with people in your local demographic, but you can also uh, create a course that that can help people uh, eat better right uh, help them understand the difference between what they're eating help them understand the difference between raw food cooked food and processed food right um, those, those sorts of things you could be doing to build your brand if you don't already have an affiliate uh, with a good nutrition company where you can market some of their nutrition uh, hey how's, how's it going uh, over there on Periscope <clears throat> If you don't already have a good nutrition company where you can offer their products to your clients, then let's talk afterwards because I have a good company 
uh, that I offer their nutrition products. They work really great. Uh, this is, I use their uh, Beyond Tangy Tangerine in my uh, green smoothies almost every morning. Uh, my, my, I recommend the, the uh, Rebound, which is a, a, a recovery drink, uh, similar to uh, what, what people would see as a uh, Gatorade or something like that, but it has more vitamins and minerals in it and it tastes great. So that's, that's something. So those are affiliate options, right? Options to work out in the gym or in the comfort of their own home. Exactly. That is, that is good. That, that is good. Uh, but make sure that, you, you know, you're taking that options and you're adding, you're adding uh, uh, a, a virtual component, right? So maybe you create a site that they can pay $10 a month for, right? And they log into this site and you're on the site and you're giving them uh, video workouts, right? Right there in the comfort of their own home. And then once they finish their workout, you give them a meal plan based on that workout to help them recover. Once they recover, you give them their dinner plan for the night. You give them a healthy snack. So these are things that you can create and this stuff runs on autopilot. How many clients do you need to be subscribed to a monthly membership fee of $10 a month before you got you know, $5,000 a month coming in on autopilot? I'm just saying, in addition to that video component, it not only creates a revenue stream, but it also builds the brand, on-demand workouts. You better believe it. You, you notice that's where uh, 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 all of the, um, what is the main, the, the, the name of the parent company that does the P90X and the Insanity and all that? That's what they've gone to now. They no longer sell the DVDs, right? They sell a membership to a online site where you can just log in and get your workouts there because they streamline their business. All right, who else? Uh, I didn't forget about you, Cornelius. I will, I will get that to you uh, today. I'll, I'll get it to you today. I, I didn't forget about it. I just didn't log in and, and get it to you yesterday. On um, Periscope, we do something called Free Game Fridays. I want Beachbody. There you go. I want you to give me uh, the name of your business. Uh, and if you got a question uh, related to business, branding, and marketing, we're talking about how to incorporate. Uh, we're talking about how to incorporate uh, uh, affiliate products with traditional businesses and things of that nature. So if you got a question or you got a comment, give me the name of your business if you are a business owner. Uh, so we give you a business shout out and then ask your question. Uh, and if you, you want some tips on how to incorporate some uh, network marketing products or affiliate products to create additional streams that are synergistically aligned with what you're currently doing, that's what we do on Fridays, right? That's what we do here on Fridays. So uh, yeah, so, so Beachbody, so that's who you partner with, so good, you got that. My, but here's the thing, here's the thing, and here's where most people go wrong, and, and this is another shameless plug time, guys. This is why I'm doing the class next Thursday on how to build your own website. Doing a class next Thursday on how to build your own website. It's going to be $97. It's going to be a two-part class. The first part, we're going to show you how to use Weebly to build your own website, step by step. You're going to get the recording of that so that you can then go out and build your website. I'm going to give you an email location so that as you're building and you have questions, you send me your questions via email. I'm going to take all of those questions and prepare day two, which will be the following Thursday, and answer all of those questions via live video and give you some more demonstration to polish up your actual website. How many of you guys think that's a good deal for 100 bucks? You get your own website two-day course both will be recorded you will get the recordings of both but week one we go through how to do it all you get the recording then you actually do it you get stumped on something along the way you email me your question and then we have a follow-up session the following week and we bang it out man and when you're done you have your own website right you have your own website here's what most people don't do and here's where most people struggle when they partner with a beast body they partner with a traditional network marketing company they partner with an affiliate marketing company they use their marketing materials only and they don't brand themselves you guys know if you're in network marketing and been for any long a length of time you know that people don't join network marketing companies people don't join affiliate companies people join people 
right? And if you don't have your own website to one that brands you as a representative of Beachbody, then what separates you from everybody else that represents Beachbody? Why should I come to Tawana when everybody else does Beachbody too? And I can just go to my neighbor. My next door neighbor says she's been with Beachbody for six years and and I'm and she don't look like it, but I can just go talk to her versus talking to Tawana. So when so so I'm gonna do a stream uh, later today on the five reasons that network marketers need to have their own website. That's one of you want to set yourself apart. You want to brand yourself, not the company that you work with. If Beachbody went down today, do you have a strong enough relationship with all of your clients that you can continue to work with them because they just like you or because you branded Beachbody, they're going to be distraught because Beachbody went away? Is everybody tracking with me on that? Give me some hearts on Periscope if you can hear me okay. I'm not sure if the stream is still on. Um, right? So, uh, author Bethany Rucker, uh, company is Southern uh, Butterfly Entertainment. Question, as someone who's already published my book and sold almost 500 copies, what's the best way to increase my book sales through having book signings through having book signings. Yes. So, uh, so, so Bethany, I think you and I are in the same boat. Uh, uh, it's uh, almost 500 copies. That is amazing. Uh, I would definitely make sure that you get your website up, right? We got to get your website up. You have to have a presence online, right? And you have to have the ability to have your capture pages uh, and your autoresponder set up so you're always generating leads. You are doing a wonderful job because you're vending almost twice a week, every week. So you're getting exposed locally, but you need to be getting exposed nationally. And that's what your websites and your video and your social media presence is going to do for you. Right. And then what you're going to need to do is you need to continue to create strategic partnerships. So you, uh, I, I got a couple people reach out to me and to Evan based on uh, uh, some things and, and seeing you on my show. That's a good partnership. Look at other people who have web shows. Look at other people who have blog talk radio shows and podcasts and send them your story, your media kit, your bio. And you start getting on other people's programs so that they can continue to uh, put you out there and expose you to different audiences. You have a wonderful story. You have a wonderful story that people need to know about and hear. So what you're doing is good. You want to do more of it. Right. And that's what a lot of people now, a lot of people are doing good things. They're just not doing enough of it from a branding and a marketing standpoint. I told you when I went to the sales training uh, a couple weeks ago, do for me when he said. 50 percent of your activities should be marketing 50 percent of your activities in your business should be marketing why because if you're not marketing getting your brand and your message in front of people over and over and over 50 percent of the time you're not going to have any customers to close you're not going to have any work to do because nobody knows you so definitely a media kit uh um uh I'm trying to think of the name of the publishing uh, of, of the, the 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 publicist uh, that company. I'll, I'll get it to you, uh, uh, Bethany, when when I when, when I think of it. All right, all right, all right. Branding yourself. Yep, yep. Good, good, good. Teach. All right. So S H and H uh, Income Tax Services. You mentioned sole purpose yesterday. Are you going to do an affiliate, or is it a network marketing company? Sole Purpose is uh, part of a network marketing company. I will send you my link because you can still become a part of that uh, affiliate for just ten dollars. Uh, they have some other packages that you can become, you know, a part of them. And what Sole Purpose is, it's a black-owned uh, network marketing company that sells uh, uh, bath and body products, right? It's a black owned network marketing company that sells black and uh, I can't think of the net lady's name who founded the company, but sole purpose is a black owned network marketing company that sells 
Bath and Body products, the same thing that you get at Victoria's Secrets, you get at a sole purpose, right? You get at a sole, sole purpose. So I will get you that link and let you check that out. Uh, yes, get national and global exposure. Yes, congratulations to you both. Great uh, examples. Yes, I have. I have to create a media kit. Yeah, I'm working on mine too, Bethany. Um, just something that I, I just haven't done. But yeah, you, you definitely want to do that. I'm going to try creating a T-shirt through uh, Teespring's. Uh, yeah, that that's a good option. Uh, who's doing your T-shirts now? You already have T-shirts, so you just have somebody locally do those. The only issue that I have with Teespring. And, and those types of companies is because they are a middleman for you. You have to sell your T-shirts for twenty five and thirty dollars for you to make a little profit. And I believe that if you have a good design and you work with somebody locally. You could uh, probably get a good T-shirt done for eight bucks nine bucks ten bucks and then turn around and sell it for 17 bucks and you still make seven dollars profit uh you know a 25 dollar t-shirt is is a lot so my local t-shirt guy was killed unexpectedly oh i'm sorry to hear that and head on a collision so i am in need of a new person i have someone that i'm working with uh try out uh, my girl at um n8 image llc and that's n and the number eight the word image LLC. Give her a call at 314-252-8115. That's N8 image. 314-252-8115. Tell her Cortez sent you. Uh, she don't know me as a financial health mentor. She knows me as Jihad's dad. Her son and uh, my son played uh, high school ball together. N8 image LLC 314-525-8115. Yes, she's local. Uh, I'm actually waiting on a quote from her for uh, Mikey's T-shirts. Um, so I, I give her a shot. I don't know what her prices will will be. Uh, I'm new to working with her, but um, I, I know she does good work. I've seen some of her work, so I'm just excited to see what her, her prices are going to be. Uh, and reload in relationship to getting uh, some color t-shirts done at a at a good um uh, at a good volume right uh anybody else come on talk to me y'all yeah so 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 a media kit let me just explain to you guys what i what i think you should include in your media kit and and, and i'm not the, the guy for this i'm not a, a, a pr person right but i know for sure you want in your media kit you want a press release and don't get shaken up about a press release. A press release is uh, all it is, is you talking about you in third person about what it is you just released. Carvel, you just released your book. Are you getting ready to release your book? So that's a press release, right? Uh, 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 Bethany, you released your book. Uh, so that's a, a press release, right? And you just talking about who you are what you've done in the release of your new book and you talk about it in third person press release definitely a good headshot right so the reason a headshot is is important is because when you send your media kit out and somebody says hey that's awesome i want to interview on my show they're not going to ask you for anything additional they're going to take the image that you gave them and they're going to use that to create any promotional material and you want a headshot a good one because you use the same headshot for about two or three years that's part of branding that's part of branding see if if especially with women if brandy had a media uh, a press kit and every time she sent a, a press kit out she had a different image she would look different every time because women can really create different looks and that wouldn't be branding. So when people see her out or people see her on a flyer, they don't recognize her. Create one image that you're gonna use and stick to for at least two years. So that people start associating the name with the picture. Every time they see that picture, oh, that's Brandy. 
Oh, that's Corvell. Because the picture is the same and they saw the picture with your name so much, now they can see your name without the picture and they think about that picture. They see the picture without the name and they instantly think about your name. This picture right here I used for two years. I'm on to the new one from the new book cover. I will use that for another two or three years. Do I have other headshots? Yes. But if you keep changing them, they they people won't 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 associate you with the name. That's part of branding. Think about some of the 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 the, the, the people that you follow, those who are, are at greater levels of, of standing, and you think about some of the flyers you've seen them on. You see the same picture. They they didn't come to town three or four times. And every time they come to town, it's the same picture. Because that's how you create and burn an image into somebody's head. Branding and marketing. Branding and marketing. Right? So you need a, a, a headshot, a press release, a bio. Now, a, a bio, you always use, use uh, in the bio, you talk about yourself in the third person in your bio, too. Don't say, hey, I'm Cortez. I've accomplished this. I've got my own show. I've got two books out now. No, you talk about yourself in third person, even in your bio, too, right? In your bio, right? So a headshot, a press release, and a bio, um, I would do uh, always do some sort of video, like a, a one-minute clip. Uh, so I would take some of my lectures. I would take some of my show uh, and some of my 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 stuff that 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 got the most of response and attention, and I would kind of fuse that together in a little bit of a clip, so people can actually hear me speak. Especially Brandy, because you want to be on the speaker circuit, so people need to hear you speak. So take some of the clips that you recorded when you were on Dallas and Ray J's show. Uh, take some of the interview that you did with me, and fuse that together in a little clip, so people can hear you speak from your heart. And you, you create a little media clip. You, you go to Fiverr or you go to my girl Gloria and she can put a, a little trailer uh, uh, for the beginning and a little trailer at the end with all of your contact information. And that becomes part of your media package. And you put that up on your website and people went on, uh, uh, under the book me. So, so you put a tab that says book me or check my availability. They click on that and they get that media kit sent to them. And then they click on it, they can see that little video play and say, oh, she speaks well. Oh, I like her. I like that the, the way she speaks. I, I like uh, her message, her story. I like that. And then that's where your bookings come from. Right? Uh, let's see. I got told, I get told that all the time. Uh, stick with one hair shot for two or three years. Yep. Uh, I recommend my favorite book uh, for health and fitness. Would I get a portion of the sales. Uh, Tawana, again, she has a favorite book. So if you're not an affiliate of, of, of the, the Walmart program that I put out the other day, I don't know if you ever checked your email and it came through, but yes, you should. Uh, because you don't recommend it and say, hey, go to Barnes and Nobles and get it. Say, oh, what's your email address? I'm going to email you the link to, the, to where you can get this book. Or give me your phone number. I'm going to text you the link to where you can get this book. So when they hit text, they, they they go to the link and you get credit for it. If you send somebody up to Barnes and Nobles and they walk into the store and they buy the book, no, you're not getting any credit for that. So you don't just recommend it. You send them a link that's going to be tracked to you. It's going to be tracked to you. All right? Uh, it says, I'm trying to come up with my next T-shirt design. Okay, good, good deal. Good deal. Sandra, uh, receive, monetize my life. Uh, 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 good, good, Brandon. And I put you into the, the secret group for Monetize My Life Academy as well. Still building the actual membership site, but I put the first private video training in there. Uh, and I'm going to put out a schedule in there on the days I will be live doing live coaching in that group. All right. Good deal. All right. So let's see. Bless the Ball Skills uh, uh, Skill Development Academy. How do I get principals and administrators to open their doors to me more either through speaking engagements or my afternoon programs so Carvel, this is a tough one 
because there's so much red tape you have to deal with to get into the school districts but you have an advantage being a former dean of students and all that good stuff from your background i would say you go in and serve them first go in and offer to do something for free for them first go in and offer to do something for them for free give them your credentials give them your background uh and 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 pick 10 schools and go in and offer to do something for free just to get your foot in the door just so they can see a response that you get from the kids from the crowd from from those uh, uh, uh that that would be participating and they may not bring you back but that's okay you record everything that you do in those schools and then that becomes part of your media kit when you reach out to the next 10 schools and tell them what your budget is that makes sense so if i go do 10 10 10 shows for free uh 10 assemblies in schools for free and i get favorable responses and and i'm in front of uh, all of the fifth grade and sixth grade class now i'm in front of a crowd and i'm recording that i'm taking pictures of that now i have proof of what i say i do and now i put that in my media kit and i send that to the next 10 schools and say here's what this program does here's the effect that we have when we go into these schools Here's what it costs you to bring me into your school. Question, since you're always talking about creating value with a package, so do you think it would be a good deal to design a t-shirt with the title of my book to have uh, an offer at book signings? I would say it would be uh, a good idea to design a book not so much with the book cover on it because that's too much self-promotion right but uh maybe a powerful quote from the book that means something to people whether they they know anything about the book or not and package that with the book does that make sense so so take a powerful quote from the book and then put your name at the bottom, Brandy Gates, as the, as as you know the person who originated the quote. But the quote itself means something to people, whether they know anything about who Brandy Gates is, know anything about through my eyes. So they will wear that that shirt regardless, right? If you give me a shirt with your book picture on it, I'm not wearing that because I know that is me just marketing and promoting your book. Right. But you can do something that that will be universally acceptable. And then I will be more likely to wear that shirt and people will see that the, the quote says Brandy Gates. And I might want to go Google who is Brandy Gates. I like that quote. Make sense. OK, great. Got the email. Yes. So you have to become an affiliate of. Yes. Yeah, so you got the account. So when you go in through that 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 uh, account, uh, Tawana, and, and if you if your favorite book is sold at Walmart, then you can grab that link to the book from that account and send that to people and say, hey, here's where you go get that book that I recommend. Or in that same uh, cashback mall that I gave you, there's about three other bookstores in there. So you can go to that bookstore, grab a link there, and you will start earning cashback and commissions for sending people to those uh no, not the picture or shirt with the, uh, let me see what, what better this is. Have you added me to the Monetize My Life group? I purchased my copy. Yes, you should be in there. You should have got a notification last night, uh, uh, Brandy. Cool. Plus, I can package those speeches as classes up to sell as a package. Or as, exactly, Corvells. You've been hanging around me a little too long, brother. You're getting it. Yes, definitely. Uh, okay, I got it. Powerful quote. No, not the uh, picture, uh, a shirt with the title of the book, Through My Eyes. Um, the title of the book might work, but again, that's more self-promotion. You want people to, to, to pull something out of their, 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 their T-shirt drawer and put it on because they want to, uh, it, it may be a, a better reflection of them. Uh, Through My Eyes could do it. Uh, 
kind of depends on how you how you place it. But I, I like the powerful quote a little bit more than the title of my book, unless you do through my eyes on, on, a, on, on a real funky design, real artistic design. So it just looks good and not necessarily a representation of the book. Right. Who else, man? This is good stuff, man. I love I love to interact. I love to interact. And if you guys on YouTube, I'm sorry that YouTube doesn't have the mechanism where you can interact with the show. You can always go to uh, Periscope at Cortez Springer uh, and give me your comments on the show there. Or you can uh, jump on to uh, Facebook again at Cortez Springer where I stream the uh, show live there. Time check 751. Anybody else? Anybody else? You're always two minutes faster than me, Bethany. Anybody else? Um, questions, concerns, uh, how to incorporate network marketing, how to uh, better build your brand, how to monetize your life, anything, man. This is, I, I love to help you guys go to the next level, but I don't know what the level you're currently on if you don't talk to me, right? Uh, again, just to plug the uh, the the um, class for next week. Uh, class for next week is how to build your own website using Weebly. Weebly is a free website platform. You can build a website really quickly, manage it yourself. You can go in and make updates uh, at, at any given point in time. Uh, it is it is it is probably the simplest platform that you can use. But you got to give yourself a home on the internet. I know social media can be a home on the internet. My fan page, yes, that's a good place I can send people to. My YouTube channel, yes, I can send people there. But there's limitations with that, right? Yes, I know you can create a store inside of Facebook. Uh, but how many of you guys know, even though there's 1.8 billion people on Facebook, there's still a lot of people not on Facebook. There's still not a lot of people on Facebook. There are people, there are 1.8 billion people signed up with Facebook accounts. But out of those 1.8 billion, not everybody is actively on Facebook all day, every day like me. <laughs> so you have to understand that, um, that you need a separate home on the internet uh, where you can have your own store, where people can get to know, like, and trust you a little bit more and all that good stuff, right? So let's see. Okay, thanks. Uh, giving you time references. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Good deal, uh, Brandy. I appreciate that. Uh, I am going to sign up for the class. Okay, good. Uh, okay, I'm getting ready to buy some t-shirts. Where are you buying and selling yours at? Um, so I'm not doing the t-shirts just yet. Uh, I looked at Teespring. I looked at, um, there's a couple other online vendors. But this is a local person that I'm, I'm talking to right now to see if I can form a relationship with her uh, to become something like a drop shipper where where she can make a good profit per shirt. I can make a good profit per shirt and I don't have to sell the shirts at twenty five or thirty dollars to make a few dollars. Right. That's the only thing with Teesprings is. You see all everybody sell, selling their T-shirts for twenty five or thirty dollars is because. Uh, some of these these vendors you have to pretty much you know they're charging you 17 18 dollars to do the shirt for you so you want to make three or four dollars per shirt so your shirt has to cost 22 25 dollars um, and and to, to me that's a little uh, expensive for a t-shirt uh, but I don't mind paying it because I know I'm helping other entrepreneurs out but I, I would I think $15 is a good price point for a t-shirt, but I get it. You're trying to make profit. So for a $15 uh, t-shirt, you have to find somebody who's producing it for you for around eight. And that's why I'm trying to develop relationships with local people, right? With local people. Uh, so uh, very, very new to entrepreneurship and network marketing company uh, named uh, AT Dub Enterprise. I am an affiliate distributor of two different companies. I definitely need branding and building the website. <coughs> uh, 
uh, building the website. I received my monetize my life, by the way. Okay, awesome. So that's Angela Williams. Good, good. So if you want to build the website, definitely uh, I will put the information out on that class here shortly. Uh, but you can jump in that class again. It's not, it's going to be ninety seven dollars, but it's two it's a two day course. The first week, I'm going to show you how to build your website from start to finish. At least four main pages. Every website should have, in my opinion, you should have your home page. You should have an about me page. You should have a contact me page, and you should have a blog page. We're going to show you how to build that and the psychology behind building your website and the placement of certain things and all that kind of stuff. That's day one. Then you're going to get the recording of that so that you can go and do that the next uh, 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 over the next seven days. You're going to be building your website and you have the recording to go back and reference as you're building. Oh, wait a minute. He said I can slide this element here and make it look like this. Do this. So you have the reference, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, recording as a reference. As you're going through building it, you may have some questions. I'm going to give you an email address to email the questions to, and then the following Thursday, we're going to bang out all those questions in a video call again. Again, you will get the recording. If some things come up that I didn't show you, we can shore up some things. And now you have two videos on how to build your website. And if time permits, I will also review some of your websites live and, and give you some of my thoughts and, and some pointers on that kind of thing so 97 bucks man i think is a fair price for uh, uh that uh in addition to that you're going to get my eight part uh course on what it takes to make money online which is a series of shows that i did last year uh, i'm going to bundle those up for you and then i'm also going to throw in my course on how to win with facebook ads for those of you who are looking to start uh boosting posts and doing things like that and advertising and marketing on facebook so uh, you're going to get a lot, uh, Angela, out of the Monetize My Life Academy group. If you're not in there, let me know. I, I tried. To, I went through my list of everybody that I shipped the book to, and I threw them in there. So maybe uh, uh, if I miss somebody and uh, you're not in there, let me know, and I'll get you added. But you're going to get a lot of education that's going to help you with your branding, that's going to help you with your marketing, it's going to help you with setting up your system so you can become an, a, a better affiliate uh, and entrepreneur in general. I only want to use Teespring as another way to make money without uh, spending any money. That is that is that is a, a very good. But if so, so when I look at those companies, uh, uh, Brandy, I'll just give you my thoughts. When I look at those companies, right, like a Teespring, and it's gonna they're gonna charge me sixteen dollars to produce a shirt, then I'm looking at I want to be able to have enough traffic and volume. To sell these shirts for seventeen dollars, I know that's only a dollar a shirt. But if I can sell twenty shirts a day, then that's twenty dollars a day on autopilot. That's kind of how I look at them. Most people look at them like, okay, I'm still trying to make ten dollars a shirt, and they're charging me fifteen dollars to make the shirt, so I got to sell the shirt for twenty five dollars to make ten dollars per shirt. And at that rate, you will probably only sell two or three shirts. So I always look at the difference between what, where my margin is and then the volume that I can create based on a slimmer margin, but a better price point and sell volume versus having a, a, a tough margin and, and a, exaggerating the price so that I can make a bigger profit, but you will always sell less product, right? And then sometimes with the Teesprings, you have to order the shirts yourself so you can know what kind of quality T-shirt that they have. They have different quality T-shirts and all that kind of stuff. So you just have to really, really take your time and, and get everything set up. At what point or how do I introduce income shifting to my basketball clients? Because I can teach them how they can write off the fees, uh, write, write the fees off. Uh, so I would always have um, with, with, with you, Carvel, it's that's kind of difficult in the sense that they see you as a coach, but not necessarily as a financial coach. Uh, so and, and I kind of keep that separate from my coaching world. And I just let them stumble up on me on Facebook or something like that. And then I say, hey, man, I didn't know you, you, you did that, man. Let's talk about that. Right. Um, 
but but a good way to introduce it uh, uh, would be uh, introducing a third party to them and not introducing yourself to them as that guy. So I, I would, uh, so you're in Chicago, uh, next time Don Wilson is doing something, uh, I would grab some of his flyers and promo material. And as your kids are walking out or leaving, or you have an email list for your clients, you say, hey, I don't know how many of you guys would, would appreciate something like this, but I know of a financial seminar that's going on in this part of town. I want to personally invite you. And you should have an email list for Bless the Ball, right? If you don't, start one today. But that's how you can sneak that in there without necessarily uh, trying to pitch them directly. Uh, and then you use a third party um, and then, you know, you can send them that way via a third party and let them go hear from Don. Uh, and then, of course, Don is going to say, hey, get back with whoever invited you. And they, they say, hey, I like this. I want to get, get going. So I would do it that way more so than say, hey, I can help you write this off. They're going to look at you as the basketball coach and say, come on, dude. I'm not talking to you about my money. Carvel, I'm super proud of you, brother. Keep up the good work. Uh, that's from Brandy Gates Carvel, uh, our author, Bethany Rucker. Uh, thank you, Bethany. I am super geek that you uh, have sold 500 books. Uh, that's big time. Yes, iron sharpens iron. I'm learning from you guys. I'm happy for, and I thank you too. Good, good, good. Great, 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 great. Cool. Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Any more questions? Great advice. Good. Uh, on the income shifting intro. Yeah. Yeah. Don't introduce it to them yourself because you are they see you at a certain line. And then when, when it comes to us jocks, jocks are supposed to be dumb anyway. Right. So they definitely might be looking at you sideways as a, as a dumb jock kind of thing subliminally in their mind, even though they may not be consciously thinking of you that way. Uh, so introduce them through a third party. Uh, so do you have a video on how to throw an event slash seminar? I, I do not, Steve. I, I do not have a video on it. Um, if you're talking about a seminar for us in income shifting, uh, I have some information that I can send you on a format. Uh, and I've, done, I've been to enough of them to say, hey, here's what I liked about the way they did theirs. Here's what I didn't like. Here's what I want to incorporate. So I can send you, I can send you some, some templates. Uh, I got with Miss Clarissa Pace out of Arkansas, and she helped me put my first one together here uh, that we did on April 29th, and, and it was nice. It was like nice. And he said, oh, my monetize, uh, my life was a good read. I appreciate that, brother. Appreciate that. And if I didn't throw you into the uh, private group, uh, let me know, Stephen, and I will, I'll make sure I get you in there. I think I tried to add everybody on the list that I shipped the book to so far. Uh, yeah, Cornelius, that, that's, that's how I will go about doing that. Uh, I don't have a hard stop, guys. If you got, got some more questions, uh, let me know. Uh, we can go for another 10 or 15 minutes or so. Uh, but I love the interaction more than just the lecturing and, and the talking and the teaching with no interaction. So, uh, yeah, any more questions, right? And if you have questions, don't forget to give me the name of your business if you haven't already. So we give you the business. Uh, shout out, Patrick. What's going on, my friend? Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Michelle, good, good, good morning. Courtney, good morning. Uh, who else? Who else? Who else? Y'all let uh, uh, Bethany and Cor Corvell ask all the questions this morning. <laughs> Branding, marketing, right? Anything else that I can help you guys with? Take your business to the next level. You guys on YouTube, leave your comment in the chat and I will come back and either respond with a video or I will just answer you in the chat. A lot of times when you, when you leave me a question in uh, the comments on YouTube, I will respond with a video. I like to respond with, with video responses and I will do the same thing. Give you your business shout out. Say, hey, this question came from XYZ, uh, from this, this, this company and they asked this, Here was, here's my response. And I would do a video response. So if you got questions on YouTube, go ahead and ask your questions there. Anybody else? Now, I don't want to sit here and stay for an extra 10 to 15 minutes unless you guys got questions. Uh, I don't mind sitting here and saying, because I've always got something I could be doing to build my brand, right? 
So uh, any questions on anything that you, you, you're trying to get accomplished, uh, you're trying to learn more about, you're trying to go to the next level uh, in your business, uh, things that you might be stuck on, stuck at right now, if you got those questions, now is a good time. Now is a good time. Uh, do you have any recommendations in Houston? Uh, yeah, Tawana, I want you to join Project 1000. We have a training center right there in Houston. They train uh, on income shifting, wealth building strategies three or four times a, a, a week. And when you join Project 1000, you get a lot of my branding and marketing coaching for free. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, okay, Cornell said, I'm good. I got two nuggets I'm working on today. All right, good deal. Good deal. The media kit is another task I need to conquer. Yeah, uh, media kit is good, man. Uh, and don't beat yourself up over uh, making it look uber professional and all that kind of stuff. But you just need something to direct people to to get them some information about who you are. So when, when I teach you how to build your websites, you can um, you can do that. You, you, you can basically create a web page for your media kit. And then when any whenever somebody wants uh, to know more about you, you can just send them a link to that web page. And it has your bio there. It has a link that they can click on for your latest press release. It has a link. Uh, it has your video embedded on who you are, some of the things that you've done, some of the places that you've spoken, and, and all of that. And they can see what you've done and who you are and that sort of thing. So you you, you make it a, a very convenient thing, and you can even buy a, a, a get a domain name for it, or you can just it can be part of your existing domain. So uh, I have my my website is financialhealthmentor.com. So I can use a subdomain uh, to make it easier for when people want the media kit. I can make a subdomain that says mediakit.financialhealthmentor.com. And anybody who wants to request me to come speak, to come host a program or host a show or be a guest on their show, Here's my uh, link to my media kit. My bio is there. My press, my latest press release is there about my latest book, my latest tour, all of that stuff. I can just send them that link to that, that page right there. Does that make sense? All right, all right, all right, all right. If you guys have no more questions, I appreciate you guys tuning in on Periscope. Appreciate you guys for tuning in on YouTube. Of course, you guys uh, are always engaging on Facebook. Uh, so I appreciate that again. Don't forget man. Don't forget if you have not already got a copy of this man if You have not already got a copy of this. It is released today Amazon.com Mikey learns about business. We're trying to make this kid a best-selling author this weekend If you know you're gonna be busy tomorrow go ahead and buy it now But what we want to do is get a thousand people to go buy this book Tomorrow he's in Atlanta with two book signings tomorrow He's going to be promoting really heavily since he's doing that there We figured that we do all the promotion online and send everybody to the site tomorrow to buy from amazon.com We can get a thousand copies of this soul and make this kid a best-selling author Entrepreneur it's about his entrepreneurial journey the things that he had to do uh, and then it's always good about letting our kids see books where people look like them on the cover right that is important y'all it's extremely important so with that i'm your main man h cortez the one and only financial health mentor to the working class until i talk to you guys next week uh officially on the show but you guys know i'll be doing a live stream later about uh, promoting the, the the build your website class next week until i talk to you guys next week i want you to get your money up love you guys because you absolutely can do it. I forgot what I forgot what I'm supposed to say at the end. Get your money up because you absolutely can do it. See, when I said I love y'all, that threw me off, right? It's funny how when you say speak the word love, it does something to your brain, right? Talk to you guys next week. Peace out, people.